Hey Anonymi, welcome to another video. We're doing a penny box wrap up. Uh, I didn't record while I was going through the box or anything, but I think the wrap up's the best way to demonstrate some of the awesome things that you can find in a penny box. A lot of people get bored with pennies. I think they're one of the most uh, exciting, ever giving types of currency that you can find new things in every time. And what's fun about them is you can always find a better version of what you have while you're coin roll hunting. You may have one of everything, there's always an upgrade. Over here, I don't have anything going on. I always save all my 82 small dates and 83s and weigh them on my scale. If I get lucky enough to find a copper planchet, then I'll definitely do a video on it. But right now, there's my stack. Over here, these are just red coins that I've pulled out. Uh, they're in varying years, anywhere from the 60s on up through 2008. A lot of these are common years that you'll find. Oops. For instance, I just pull out nice coins. If it's red and it, it's not loaded with spots, I pull it out and I throw it in my tube of cents for the 1990s. Let me find another one for an example. Yeah, there's one, one right here on top. It's a really clean 1981. It's not perfect, but it's bright red, so I threw it, throw it in my tube with uh, my 1980s. And I just slowly fill up those tubes and move on to another one. Interesting things I found over here. This is a, 19, or, uh, a 2017 P. I've said this a million times before, but we're in the Denver zone. So we're trying to fill up a tube of semi-red the best kind of red that we can find 2017 peas so we we have three ones to add to our collection there something really funny about this box it looks like somebody had some kind of project going on where they were trying to clean pennies and these are all 1978 D's in there this really strange off color I don't know if it's from acetone or what they were using to clean but they're almost whitish instead of red you can see it compared to the redness over here. It's almost this whitish off gold color. It's really strange. These are worthless. I've actually found a batch just like this in another box. It looks like it's the continuation of somebody's little project. Um, I'll go down here and talk about the Wheaties. These are all 1950s. They're really ordinary uh, common years you would find. However, I did find one really nice condition, 58D. It, is, it has some luster left, if I shine it in the light the right way. And you can see it's a, it's a red-brown. It's not brown, it's red-brown. It's in really good condition. That's pretty good for a coin roll. These are the 1940s. There's a really nice one right there. Just kidding. And then, one of the fun things, I was going through this roll and I go, Whoa, 1924, does that look like a mint mark? Oh, quick look. No. It's not a mint mark. It looks like this... I can't get this to focus, guys. I'm sorry. It looks like there's some kind of splatter or something from maybe a welder, like it was under a welder. This is added metal material on these bumps. They're not divots. They are added metal material. I thought it was a 24D. It's not. It's a 1924 Philadelphia. It's so fun to find things that are this old. Even if in, they're in rotten condition like this. So I'll put it in my old weedy tube. I've got a, a tube for anything 1929 or before. I'll set it in there for sure. Why not? Here are my red 09s. I think I've said this before, but I'm getting a little more choosy on my 09s. I'm only keeping the ones that are red. And one of them was pretty exceptional for a coin roll find. It's uh, Philadelphia, which is special to us. I usually am a little more lenient on what I keep in 09s because we don't find uh, Phillies. And that is the professional life standing in front of the Illinois legislature, I believe. That's the third coin in the series. Next up, not a lot to talk about here. Just some cool tone. Got a little bit of rainbowing going on in those two coins. Found one 1981 can Canadian cent. I have two full rows here of nice red shield pennies. I've decided that I'm going to try to fill a tube up of each year 
in mint mark of the shields. While I can still get them fresh, I've noticed that the deterioration rate on these is rapid. So 20 years from now, good luck finding some nice shield sounds. And then last but not least, this was the coolest, hands down, part of this box. Somebody must have had a brilliant uncirculated roll of 1974 Denver scents. I was able to recover 12 of them from this box, but as I was going through the box, it was cool to train my eye to know exactly what to look for. The level of redness on these things is extraordinary. Some of them have a spot in the center that is still a lighter color of copper. That bright, bright whiteness that you might find if you found a 2018 or a 2019 scent. I'm going to try and see if I can get it to come through. Eh, that's not the best example. Let's try this one. You can see a little bit of a color difference right there in the center. But there was one that had perfect uniform color. This was the gem. That's the one that I'll be comparing my uh, nice collector book with to see if this is an upgrade. But in, all in all, we found 12 of them. Those will go straight into a tube, and we'll keep them. They're cool. Anytime you get into something like that, sock them away. They co cost you one cent a piece. Why not? So anyway, we had a really fun penny box. Really old Wheaties. Really bright red 70 cents. Lots of good red shields. This funny thing going on with 78Ds and the cleaning. Uh, all kinds of good stuff, guys. So don't be afraid of those penny boxes. Dig in, find reds, find upgrades, and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. Click that like button. Share. Subscribe. We would love your subscriptions so you can come back and visit us. And leave a comment. Tell us what you think. See you next time. Happy hunting.